Hello students. So today in this video, I'll be telling you about the complex multiplication. As you see, complex multiplication in polar form. Okay, so for any complex number, suppose uh, let Z be a complex number. We know that this can be written as in the form, in polar form like R cos theta plus I sin theta. Or we can also write Z equals to R c i s theta now consider a number a whole number lambda now what will be lambda times z so lambda times z you write c uh, this number is to be multiplied with this modulus so that will be lambda r and this will be c i s theta okay now what happens when this number is negative minus lambda suppose this is minus lambda so <clears throat> how to write minus lambda see first of all we should know first of all we should know that uh, if suppose this is an argon plane and this is a complex number now minus lambda means we know that <clears throat> uh, the complex the modulus of the complex number will be lambda times but the direction will be opposite so this represents exactly opposite this represents z into minus lambda where z is a complex number so as you can see uh, theta was the argument of this complex number but now we have to now now the new argument is actually this is pi so the new argument is pi plus theta will be the new argument okay so for minus lambda times z you can write modulus of lambda because we know that the modulus of this complex number will be lambda times only. So that's why modulus R C I S and the argument will be pi plus theta. So this is how you multiply a, a <coughs> complex number with any number or any given number. Now, now let's start with multiplication of two complex number. So here is uh, multiplying two complex number. Now, now consider two complex number. One is represented as uh, Z1. This is uh, R1, R1, C, I, S, theta1. And consider another number as Z2, Z2. You can consider this as R2, C, I, S, theta2. Now, <clears throat> multiplying these two complex number will be like this. Suppose Z1 times Z2. So what we do is that we multiply their arguments. Although this is R1, R2, multiplication of argument. S sorry, multiplica <clears throat> we multiply their modulus. Very sorry for this. We multiply the modulus and argument is added up. So see, uh, this will be CIS theta1 plus theta2. So this is how you multiply the two complex number in polar form. Now, if we consider this in Euler's form, so let Z1 be R e to the power i theta1 and Z2 will be R e to the power i theta2. Oh, sorry, you can consider this as R1 and R2. So Z1 is R1 e to the power i theta 1 z2 is r2 e to the power i theta 2 now multiplication z1 z2 you can write multiplication z1 z2 so this will be see modulus will be multiplied so that will be r1 r2 and this will be e to the power i the argument has to be added so theta 1 plus theta 2 so that's how you do the multiplication of two complex two different complex number in the polar form <clears throat> so let's understand this by taking an example and students before going further if you like this video so please do like share and subscribe because your subscription means a lot to me and also motivate me to make more such videos so now continuing with our <clears throat> example now see uh, uh, <clears throat> the question is the question is 
Multiply the complex number. They have given you z1 as 2 e to the power i pi by 3 and z2 equals 4 e to the power i pi by 4. Now multiplication, we know that when we multiply z1, z2, we know that the modulus of z1 is 2 and z2 is 4. So you just multiply the modulus 2 times 4 and this will be e. We know that <coughs> the argument will be added up. So this will be e to the power i. So this will be pi by 3 plus pi by 4. So this will be 8 and e to the power i. Now you are an IB HL Masterin, so you can use a calculator to solve this pi by 3 plus pi by 4. That will give you 7 pi by 12. And that's our answer also. So the multiplication of these two complex numbers is 8 into e to the power i 7 pi by 12. Okay. Now let's take some another you know hard example. <clears throat> now here is the question which I have already written. Now see, <clears throat> given the numbers, so the two numbers are given, z1 as cis 3 pi by 4 and z2 as minus 1 by 2 plus root 3 by 2 i. Okay, find z1 in Cartesian form. So first of all, you have to find this in Cartesian form and z2 in polar form, this in polar form. Okay, so let's start with our first part in which, which is actually the a part, find z1 in Cartesian form. So <clears throat> z1 c. This can be written like this. Z1 is a CIS 3 pi by 4. That means cos 3 pi by 4. This is 4 plus, let me write it clearly, 3 pi by 4 plus I sine 3 pi by 4. Okay. Now, use your GDC. To get cos 3 pi by 4, that is minus root 2 by 2 plus i sine 3 pi by 4 is uh, root 2 by 2. So this is the Cartesian form of z1. Now we have to find <coughs> the polar form. See, z2 in polar form. So polar form will be, uh, see, starting with the, just, just, just write z2 over here. z2 is minus 1 by 2 plus root 3 by 2i. Okay. Now, let's move it over here. Okay. Now, see, as usual, we know that the polar form is R cos theta plus i sin theta. So, as you know, we, ha we have already solved this type of question in the previous video. So, <clears throat> this will be comparing the real and the imaginary part. This will be R cos theta is minus 1 by 2 and r sin theta will be root 3 by 2. So take this as equation 1, this as equation 2. Okay, now uh, dividing, uh, doing like equation 2 by equation 1, r sin theta by r cos theta, just writing it over here, r sin theta by r cos theta so that is equals root 3 by 2, root 3 by 2, again divided by minus 1 by 2. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, this will be root 3 by 2 times this will be reciprocated minus 2 by 1. So this will get cancelled and this r and r will get cancelled. This will be tan theta, tan theta equals minus root 3. Okay, tan theta is minus root 3. Now, what is theta? Theta is, theta will be, uh, you just substitute the value, tan inverse minus root 3 in your GDC, you get minus pi by 3, minus pi by 3. And now, let's we take uh, the argument as positive, and I have told you in case of tan, you just add pi to it, so you will get the positive answer. So, minus pi by 3 plus pi, this will give you 2 pi by 3. So, that's the argument. Now, what we will do? We are going to put this value in equation 1. 2 pi by 3, we are going to substitute this in 1. So, to get the value of r modulus. So, this is r cos uh, 2, 2 pi by 3 equals minus 1 by 2. Okay, so what is r? r is minus 1 by 2 
डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस टू बाय बाय थ्री नॉ सब्सिट्यूटिंग दिस वैल्यू इन जी डी सी माइनस वन बाय टू कॉस टू बाय बाय थ्री यू विल गेट दिस एज वन सो द मॉडलस इज एक्चुअली वन सो नाउ वी कैन राइट दिस इन द फॉर्म आर कॉस टीटा विच इज एक्चुअली वन सो दिस विल बी कॉस टू पाई बाय थ्री प्लस आई साइन टू पा बाय थ्री सो दैट्स द पोलर फॉर्म और इन शॉर्ट यू कैन राइट बिकॉज आर इज वन आर इज वन सो देर इज यू नो यू कैन राइट दिस जस्ट एज वन और यू कैन जस्ट राइट कॉस टू पा बाय थ्री प्लस आई साइन टू पा बाय थ्री और यू कैन राइट दिस लाइक सी आई एस टू पा बाय थ्री so hence our second part is also then which is to write that in polar form now what's it saying it's saying <coughs> next part is z1 and z2 in both form okay z1 and z2 in both form so first we will do z1 and z2 in polar form hai na this this you can see the b part this consider this as a b part z1 we actually you have to do z1 times z2 so in both form so we are doing the polar form <coughs> in polar form so see we know that we we know that uh, z1 is how much z1 is actually given to us it's cis 3 pi by 4 uh, just a second let me do it like this z1 is given to us that is 3 pi by 4 cis 3 pi by 4 cis 3 pi by 4 into and z2 we have just found uh, that that is cis 2 pi by 3 so we are writing the uh, we are substituting cis 2 pi by 3 over here cis 2 pi by 3 okay now see <coughs> uh we know that during multiplication the both of their modulus is 1 so 1 time 1 will be 1 only and 1 times 1 is 1 only so you can just write 1 over here see or even if you don't write that's fine so this will be cis and then you add the argument argument is to be added up 3 pi by 4 plus 2 pi by 3 so this will give you cis uh now substitute this value in your gdc 3 pi by 4 plus 2 pi by 3 uh, that is 17 that is 17 pi by 12 so that's the answer in the polar form but it's saying in both form so now we have to find it in uh cartesian form also so z1 z2 in now z1 z2 in cartesian form see other see one one thing that you can do is that you can multiply this because z1 is already given in the cartesian form sorry z2 is given in the cartesian form like minus 1 by 2 plus root 3 by 2y uh times uh z1 we have calculated z1 this no this is z1 which is this is is a cartesian form of z1 so you can multiply these two so let me show you uh either what you do is that you can multiply these two number like this one this one is z2 and this one is z1 you can do that bracket multiplication to get the cartesian form or what we can do is that in short what we can do is that we just convert this <coughs> to the cartesian form we know that z1 z2 c this will be uh this will be uh cos cos 17 pi by 12 plus i sin 17 pi by 12 hmm. we can write it like this so what's the value of cos 17 pi by 12 see if we substitute this in the calculator we get cos 17 pi by 12 as uh 17 pi by 12 is um mm, just a second i am substituting this in a calculator so this is actually root 2 minus root 6 by 4 Okay, plus i uh, sine seventeen pi by six. Uh, actually, actually, just a second. This is actually minus, and then you have root six plus root two by four. So see what we can do. We can take the minus sign out, 
so I am just writing this like minus I sign. So this is the Cartesian form. Okay. Now the next part of question is <clears throat> find the exact value of sine 7 pi by 12 and tan 7 pi by 12. Okay. Sine 7 pi by 12 and tan 7 pi by 12. So what, what should be sine 7, se, sorry, 17 pi by 12. So see, we know that we if we if we compare it if we compare these two complex number like this one and this one comparing the real and the imaginary part see what is cos 17 pi by 12 we know that cos 17 pi by 12 is this so this is cos actually we have to find seven sine 17 pi by 12 okay sine 17 pi by 12 is simply will be this this will be uh, sine sine 17 pi by 12 this will be minus uh, root 6 plus root 2 by 4 okay now what's the next part next part it's saying tan 17 pi by 12 okay see we know that tan is sine by cos and from this and uh, sorry for this and from the equation as you can see this is sine if you compare what is cos cos is actually we just have calculated cos is root 2 minus root 6 by 4 so uh, cos will be cos 17 pi by 12 that will be uh, root 2 minus root 6 by 4 okay this is cos but what we have to find we have to find tan tan 17 pi by 12 we know that this is this is what this is sine 17 pi by 12 upon cos 17 pi by 12 okay now substituting the values what is sine 17 pi by 12 is minus root 6 plus root 2 by 4 upon upon this is root 2 minus root 6 by 4 now let's solve this now solving this see this is actually you know 4 and 4 will get cancelled out so this will be minus root 6 plus root 2 we can cancel these 4s and this will be upon root 2 minus root 6 now what you can do into this is root 2 rationalizing it root 2 plus root 6 and root 2 again root 2 plus root 6 okay so now solving this see you take minus sign common only actually you know root 6 plus root 2 and root 2 plus root 6 it's the same thing so you can write this as root 2 plus root 6 whole square okay and this is a plus b a minus b formula so this will be root 2 square minus root 6 square okay <clears throat> so this is equals to minus see now expanding this root 2 square will be 2 plus twice of a b that means 2 into root 2 into root 6 is root 12 okay so that's root 12 and root 6 square is 6 whole upon this is 2 minus 6 is minus 4. Okay, so basically we can cancel this minus minus sign. That will become plus. So 2 plus 6 is actually 8. Now what is root 12? Root 12 you can write uh, 2 root 3. So plus 2 into this root 12 is 2 root 3. So this will be 4 root 3. Over here we can write 4 root 3. So this is 4 root 3 by 4 but now you can also take common you can take 4 common so this will be 2 plus root 3 so this 4 and 4 will get cancelled hence that tan 17 pi by 12 it was 17 pi by 12 no? tan 17 pi by 12 yeah value is value is this is 2 plus root 3 Okay, now coming on, now moving forward to the last question of this video. So, here is the question. Calculate the following product. 
So you have to calculate sin pi by 12 plus i cos pi by 12, sin pi by 6 plus i cos pi by 6, sin pi by 4 plus i cos pi by 4. Now see, as you can see, they have given in, uh, you can say, like the reverse order because a complex number is in polar form is represented as cos theta plus i sin theta. Hmm. But they have given like sin and then i is with the cos. So you have to convert this to cos and this to sin. And one thing that we should know is that uh, cos, if I write cos pi by 2 minus theta. See, cos pi by 2 minus theta, this is sin theta. Similarly, sin, sin pi by 2 minus theta, this is cos theta. Okay, so now using this result, now see, see how I can write sin pi by 2. The sine pi by 2, I can write cos uh, pi by 2 minus pi by 12. Hmm. Cos pi by 2 minus theta will be sine theta, which is sine pi by 12. Similarly, this I can write as I sine, this will be pi by 2 minus pi by 12. Okay. Now, now <clears throat> what is pi by 2 minus pi by 12? Now, if I use the GDC, uh, this will be cos uh, pi by 2 minus pi by 12 is 5 pi by 12 is 5 pi by 12 plus i sine again this will be 5 pi by 12 now this is in the regular polar form or you can write cis 5 pi by 12 so this is our one of the first complex number you can write this as z1 now let's talk about the another one. Similarly for this, again this is sine and i cos, but we have to convert in cos plus i sine form. So over here, uh, over here, what we can do is that we can write uh, sine pi by 6. I am writing this one. So see, see for the clarification now, because we can have overwriting. Let's let let this be a z1. Consider this as z1, which I have solved. I am solving for Z2 and this as Z3. Okay. Now solving for Z2. So this is for Z2. Z2 you can write cos. Cos pi by 2 minus pi by 6. Okay. <clears throat> uh, just move it a little bit left. Now. And then plus <clears throat> I sine pi by 2 minus pi by 6. Okay, now pi by 2 minus pi by 6, now using the GDC, we get pi by 3. So this is cos pi by 3 plus i sine, this is again pi by 3. Hmm. Or you can write this as cis pi by 3. So this is z2. Okay, now we have to work for z3 z3 is sine pi by 4 so for the z3 <coughs> uh, let's write let's solve it over here this is for the this is for the z3 see sine pi by 4 we can write cos pi by 2 minus pi by 4 plus i sine 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 pi by 2 minus pi by 4 okay so what is pi by 2 minus pi by 4 uh, again using the gdc this is actually cos pi by 4 pi by 4 plus i sine pi by 4 so you can write this like cis pi by 4 sorry for this this is z3 Now taking the product of Z1, Z2 and Z3, we can write this as CIS 5 pi by 12 into Z2 is CIS pi by 3 into CIS, this is Z3 pi by 4. Okay, so that will be the, that will be our product. Okay, now let's solve this. So, we know that when we multiply, actually, you know, uh, 
our rule can be extended to three uh, complex number. So just multiply their modulus, which is one into one into one. That will be one only. CIS. And what you do? You add all their arguments. Theta one plus theta two plus theta three. So this will be five pi by twelve plus. That means argument has to be added pi by three plus pi by four. So this will be CIS. Now see, we can use calculator to get. Uh, the value of this actually this is cis pi and you know that what is cis pi cis pi is minus one which we have already discussed in the previous video because this is cos pi plus i sine pi we know that this is zero sine pi is zero and cos pi is minus one so cis pi is minus one hence the product of these complex number z1 z2 z3 is minus one so students that's all for today's video hope you like the video you enjoy it <clears throat> and now i'll see you in the next video so thanks for watching and goodbye